How is everybody doing? I'm doing good. My mom had her surgery today. And she told me a story about what she witnessed in the ER or parking lot. Well, my mom was coming home. You know, my dad was about to pull the car around to pick her up. And as he did, the man that was pushing my mom in the wheelchair had to run over to somebody else because a young lady about my age, um, I don't know if she was going to the ER, visitation, I don't know. I wasn't there. Thankfully, I wasn't there because I don't want to have to witness what I'm about to tell you. Okay, so the guy ran down with the security guard from the hospital because my mom noticed this lady was pale and shaking. And my mom said that she knew exactly how or sort of kind of of what she was about to be, be what she was doing she was having a comp, a tonic clonic seizure in front of the hospital that only good part was my mom was outside with the nurse other than that if they were out there that lady would have been on the ground for who knows how long um, my mom said she was, as she was shaking, she was trying to grab a hold of, to one of those poles that prevents the car from running over the people. Well, she missed the pole and fell flat on her face. Again. Seizures are very serious. My mom, she witnesses me have seizures all the time. But this one woman shouldn't have to be somebody for my mom to actually open her eyes and look at the reality of what seizures do to people. She said she knew by recognition, like, recognition, about what a seizure looks like. So that's. My mom. Basically. Saved that woman's life today. She couldn't physically get out of the wheelchair. Because she just had surgery. And she was still kind of doped up. Tired. Groggy. Eh. But awake enough to. See around. What's happening. My mom said. That the nurse told her. To sit in the wheelchair. So he can go down there and get this woman. My mom said she had a scream. For someone to come out. To get a hold of this woman. That was unfortunately smacked her face on the pavement. As she fell down. I know this is my journey. But you know what? Sometimes. When I Sometimes I feel like it's okay to say stories. Because what seizures happen. This is serious shit. She could have, God knows what. She could have broke her damn nose. She could have busted her lip. Busted an eye socket. Concussion. Brain bleed. Broke something. From that fall. My mom said that she was shaking and once she fell down, she was up in the fall. Recognition, y'all, is really key. You need to realize how seizures are serious. Don't mess around when someone be just... You may think that they're not having a seizure. You may not understand seizures. You may not understand how to recognize symptoms and signs of how a person may look or act before, during, and after a seizure. Listen, this is why I have a YouTube channel. I do this stuff for y'all. This is for y'all. 
I do this shit not just because of my journey. Because this lady is not my journey. This lady happened to be having a seizure. And this is just goes far back. Where I say it all the time. Everybody says. I made two videos about this. About seizures that are not a joke. Don't mess around with them. They're serious. And they can kill you. I don't know that woman. I wasn't there physically to see what happened. My mom, when she was on the ground, her face was turned away from her. So, she didn't get to see anything else. Just the paleness and the shaking before she fell down. <sighs> Luckily, God had her. It breaks my heart. Not to only hear stories, to physically see them or experience them myself. They're scary. I don't understand what somebody has to say or do or post or anything to get people to understand this. It's not something who he funny ha ha. It's not a joke. You know, I can repeat myself. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, you may leave. But I'm trying to tell you the reality behind seizures. The death rate is so high. People who have seizures, the ones that are can have hundreds of seizures a day, do you realize that their cognitive and learning and all that can become slower? And decline. Kids, a lot of kids, never talk much. Because once they learn how to talk and a seizure comes, or when they're so bad where the child or the person has so many seizures, it's hard to try to remember and make them learn things because their cognitive, everything, their understanding, is basically sort of kind of wiped away. They physically, I mean, they mentally can probably remember what they learn. But if you have them so many, learning can be hard. And I know you understand what I'm saying. It breaks my heart having to see this and hear this stuff all the time. When I was in the hospital one time with my mom, I don't remember if I said this in another video. If I did, I'm sorry. I'm not looking back. But when my mom was in the hospital once, I had a seizure in the ER. But what really I'm trying to say is not only because of all the, the gun violence and everything that's been happening now. And the fact that people have to go through security. Point is, this lady came in. Screaming and crying, holding her little boy wrapped up in her arms, seizing. People who have gun violence, all this, and all this stupidity crap, stop. You're letting somebody else not have a chance in life. A chance to grow, a grant, a chance to live a life. You're backing them up. From getting an opportunity to get medical treatment. That was one of the worst experiences I've ever seen with a seizure. I watch videos in here YouTube all the time. But it's never the same until you physically see it in front of your eyes. It's hard to say when I experience seizures. It's way different than seeing it. I have so much anxiety. I shouldn't always think about it. But ever since that day. Or every time I see it. That little boy comes rushing to my head. His The thought of seeing him. I don't know if he was lifeless. But he was seizing and then he just became like limp. And the nurse that, picked, that carried him ran off. And he was wrapped up in his zebra blanket. 
I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't understand the full concept of it yet. Of understanding. Because I don't have a kid. It may seem like it's the same, but once you have a child, it becomes even more scarier. But again, I don't have a kid yet. But I can always just think that and understand what people tell me. My biological family is risks of seizures. Sometimes I think to myself, I need to just calm down because God will give me a baby regardless how he, he or she is. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to love them. I'm still going to take care of them to the best of my ability to make sure that they are okay in life. Got to teach them, not realize, let them understand that not everybody's going to have a heart like you. Not everybody's going to understand and care about Anything. Because you can't make them do that. <sighs> How do you explain to kids. That are still immature. And developing. Bring a conversation to them. Like that. I don't know. One day. I'll have a kid. Like I said. But I love and care for my kid no matter what. I told my mom, I said, this is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. This is serious. You always tell me that I'm just always tired. I'm always don't want to do any work. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Yes, I do. I want to work. I want to drive. I want to feel normal. I want to feel more like a human being. And not a vegetable or like just, you know, not be able to do what a human is supposed to do. So, in the four years and I'm still thinking about it. The fact that I can't drive. And that I want to be, have a job and work. But until I get these seizures under control. It won't ever happen. I can't say never won't. Because there's a good possibility that these seizures can be under control. And I could get a job. I really want to work with the kiddos. But if I'm not doing good. How can I take care of somebody else? Life is so confusing and hard. But we all learn together. Take it as we go. Try to be grateful. I try to be appreciative. I understand people are worse than me. I get it. But. I don't know. I just try my best. Okay. Well. Thank you for watching. Um, starting to feel a little bad. I'm not going to record it. I'm just going to go. People haven't been liking any of my videos lately. I'm confused. But yet nobody wants to tell me exactly what will be a good thing to post when it comes to seizures. Want to be able to have someone behind my back. We can do this together. Hand in hand. But I don't know. Thank you for watching. If you're new, subscribe, like, comment, share, and have a blessed life. Don't forget to smile. Thank you.